Prepare for a dark winter. There's a big possibility this might happen. Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. In this video, we're going to talk about some hints, some tips, some ideas, and an awesome new way to keep yourself warm that I'm very excited about. So stay tuned and watch the whole video. First, let's talk about what dark winter is, though. If you don't know what dark winter is, it's the potential for the power grid to go down this winter. We know that winter storms cause the power grid to go down. As a matter of fact, it went out in my house last night at about 8.30 p.m. till about 3 a.m., I think it was. No big deal. So what did we do about it? Nothing. <laughs> we just used an extra blanket, basically. And then I figured, hey, if the power is still out when I wake up, I'll kick up the wood stove and we'll have a nice little fire. But didn't need to. Heat pump was back on by the time we got up. Those things take a while to warm back up. So yeah, it took us a little while to warm back up. But we're all good. And that's one of the best things about it. But also we've seen attacks on our grid lately. Substations, power stations, transformers, stuff like that. And the likelihood that activity like that will increase is highly possible. There's a lot of groups of people out there on, I would say, the left and the right, and um, a lot of fringe elements, elements of people, organizations, groups, that um, might be increasing this activity. So that's something to be aware of. The idea and that we will get through this winter without the grid going down, I feel is very unlikely. Uh, do I feel it's going to go down for an extended period of time? Maybe not. But... I want to talk about some things that will help keep you set up, functional, and get you through whatever happens. Before I get into the video, well first I want to talk about, first in the video I will be talking about um, common things that people talk about doing and um, common ideas and some misconceptions. Uh, but first, if you're subscribed, thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys. Hit that thumbs up. Comment below, share the videos. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell for all. Then maybe they will let you know when my videos come out, but maybe not. In that case, my videos are pretty much daily and all you gotta do is go to my homepage, click the video tab, all the videos are still there. You can watch them to your heart's content. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, bring up a playlist and binge watch, whatever you want, it's there for you. But so what a, before I get into more of the stuff, the thing that I'm really excited about, let me talk about common things, general ideas to get you through this kind of situation. I've talked before, wool blankets, quilts, fleece blankets, stuff like that. Very, very good. Sleeping bags, very good. A tent inside your house that's weird no serious put yourselves all in the smallest room or the highest room because heat rises try to seal yourself in one area you can even do that put a tent inside the room because that will help trap body heat then get in your sleeping bags under your blankets whatever you want to do whatever you have to stay warm there's some I have a really, like I said, I'm really excited about this opportunity that will be upcoming. I'm going to do some reviews about. I have uh, working with a company and I uh, haven't received the products yet, but if you guys know anything about the channel, I'm only in or involved with one affiliate program. The link's in the description below. It's preparewithap.com. That is my Patriot Supply and their Ready Hour Food Buckets because I use them. Um, I, I don't use them often because I want to store them, of course. But we have eaten them, used them, like them, good stuff, good value. If you're interested in that, I can save you some money by following the link below and I'll get a little percentage. Um, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm about to enter probably as long as everything pans out like I hope it to, to uh, uh, get into my second um, affiliate program. Because this company, it's a U.S. company, um, and they're, they're going to change the whole idea of how to stay warm. Yeah, 
because a lot of it, we talk about um, wood, wood stoves, coal, coal stoves, pellets, pellet stoves, um, radiant heat, uh, propane burners, uh, whatever it may be. These are all consumable, meaning you use the firewood, you use the coal, you use the fuel. Then what happens when it goes out? I'm about to show you pretty soon, maybe in a week or so, a solution that is not renewable, meaning you don't have to keep buying more of it. Buy once, cry once. I like that saying. But the prices on these things are pretty decent also. I'm, like I said, I'm really excited about that. But since I mentioned firewood, let's talk about that. Bam! This is one solution to dark winter. Having a wood stove with firewood or a coal burning stove or a pellet stove or a propane heater. As long as there's no um, grid tied um, components to the system. There's also things that you can do. I want to talk about some other things also. You can take little, um, you know, little clay pots that you um, grow things in like flower pots. You can take the base, you can put a candle in it, and then what you can do is you can put the top, the flower, the top, the bottom of the flower pot on the top, and then let the candle inside heat the, oh man, I'm forgetting, um, the pottery, to heat the pottery, and that will radiate heat. Now, okay, it's not going to heat your whole house. Of course not. But like I said, if you're taking yourselves inside a little room, um, and if you have three or four, five, six of these set out, it may just keep you from freezing to death. That's a one way to do it. There's different designs. You can hang them. Some of them have like little, um, you could put little spacers in to create some airflow through there. There's different ways to do it. So that's one way you can do it also. Um, but preparing to keep yourselves warm and have the ability to cook food without a grid, those are the two biggest things that we think about when we talk about grid down, we talk about CMEs, the coronal mass ejections, EMPs, which is electromagnetic pulse, taking the grid down. What about substation attacks and or just weather, drunk driver hitting a power pole, um, somebody sliding on the ice hitting a power pole. You know, it, I mean, it happens. And I, I just, I have a feeling that we're going to spend a significant amount of time this winter uh, with it being dark. So these are things we need to think about. Uh, another also common things talk about people talk about are um, solar generators, uh, gas and dual fuel, propane generators, diesel generators. Um, they talk about uh, solar setups for your main power for your regular heaters. Um, there's wind power for that. There's a lot of different solutions that you can come up with this. But all of a lot of those are very expensive, and generators, for example need fuel, gas, propane, diesel, one of those, which is what? A consumable, like I talked about. I'm very excited. Pretty soon I'm going to be showing you a solution that is not consumable, will last pretty much forever, and it's also portable. You can take it with you wherever you go very easily and not set off a big signature. Meaning, if you're out there and you need to be clandestine in the woods, if you're bugging out, if you're in a tactical situation, no light signature, no smoke signature, no smell signature, nothing. I can't wait to get this product and test it out and show you guys. I, like I said, I'm really excited about this. Another thing, to survive dark winter, grid down, or just going out in there in the adverse weather conditions and surviving. We've talked a lot about layering systems, clothing, keeping yourselves warm, merino wool, good quality boots, good quality socks, base layers, intermediate layers, outer layers, and shells. But this new product is going to throw all that out the window pretty soon. 
<laughs> I wish I could tell you more about it right now, but I really got to get the product. I really got to test it. I really got to make sure it works as well as they say it does. I've already had conversations with people in the company. I've already talked to the president of the company himself. And uh, we had a pretty long conversation, about an hour and a half, two hour conversation. I'm really excited. But anyway, keeping yourselves warm, whether you're inside or outside, is paramount during the winter time. Because you guys know the rule of three, the three weeks without food, three days without water. But what's the other one? Three hours without heat, right? Hypothermia. You don't want to die from the elements. Remember just a couple years ago what happened in Texas? Their grid went down. People died. I don't want that to happen to you guys. I want you guys to be prepared and ready. That's one reason why I'm so excited about this um, opportunity to work with this company. I hope that it comes Tuesday. So this is, uh, you may see, you will see this video Sunday because I'm filming it Saturday. Um, so in two days, I will get the product, I will film the unboxing, and then I will commence testing. I will not show the unboxing. I'm going to splice it in together with a bunch of other stuff so the video is actually relevant. An unboxing video doesn't mean anything to you because there's no practical application involved. I hate unboxing videos because it doesn't do anything. It doesn't show anything. And you guys, if you've been here for any length of time, uh, you know that I'm not one of those channels that just reviews every single piece of gear that any every single Chinese company wants to send them. I don't. I'm very, very picky. Like I said, I only have one affiliate program, and this may be number two. I will only talk about products that I 100% absolutely trust, will use, and rely on for my life and my family's life. That is my promise to you guys. So when you see my video about this product, please pay attention to it. It's going to be a good one. But for now, have a wonderful day and blessings to you and yours.